Hi, this is Corinne from Mammoth Ocean Regional Realtors. Today, I'm going to show you how to set up a saved search and subscription in Flex MLS. So to start, we're going to go into Quick Search. You may have it on your quick launch bar here, or you can search for it within your menu and find it as well. So once your quick search page loads, you're just gonna to start to put in your search parameters that you need for this particular client, contact, or yourself. So we're going to select the property type. If you click where it says 1-residential, you'll have additional options for property type. If you're looking for land lots or multifamily, commercial, rentals, whatever it may be, you can make those selections here. For today, I'm just gonna keep it on one dash residential. And then I'm gonna move forward, putting in my search parameters. So I am looking for active listings today, so I'm going to leave that. So in our current status, we have attorney review and under contract continue to show as a subcategory of active. If you don't want those to pull in the results, you can select them both hit finish and if you don't want them to be in those results you can change that not uh, that of to not of just by clicking there so I'm going to do that for today's purposes and then I'm just going to put in a couple arbitrary filters here so we can get our results down so there's a lot of results because I haven't really put many filters into my search um, but the more I put in the lower that number will get In municipality, you can either scroll through the options that are here, you can type in municipality names, or you can utilize the see all feature. So I'm just gonna select a couple, just to give us some results. Okay, so you'll see as I go down, now I'm down to 120 results. List price, let's say I want it 600. So the more filters I put in, the lower those results tend to be. So now I'm down to 17 results. So let's take a look at those results. You can either hit view results or list or detail. I'm gonna hit view results so we can see them. And these are my results based on that search criteria that I entered into the system. So let's say I wanna save this. I'm gonna select save and then save search. So on this screen is going to give you the options for saving your search. So this is a new search that we're gonna save and then you must name it. So I'm just gonna name it test. And then in the description field, you can put in a description of the, of the search should you want to, you don't have to, it's not required. And then the next option would be to attach this search to a contact. So you could either attach it to no one and just save the search. You could attach it to a new contact. You can add a contact from this screen or you can select from your existing contacts. So I'm just gonna select this contact from my options. You also, also have additional search options here. Um, you can select what events are defined as new for this search. You can manage what time range should be considered for new listings and then the property view. Typically, I just leave these alone for these options. Um, they're pre-filled and usually those will give you the answers and the information that you're looking for, but you can manage them, play with that should you feel, should you feel like you need to. And then I'm going to move forward. So if I just wanted to save this search, I would hit save. If I wanna add a subscription, which is the automatic email portion of the Flex MLS system. So that is called a subscription. And this is the button you would select to move forward with that process, the save and add subscription. 
So it's going to name your subscription. It's just going to put the word subscription in front of the name that you gave for the search. And then you can move forward with the process. So the next option is send notification of new listings to. So you can have a copy sent to yourself. You can have the copy sent to the contacts. So it's going to say selected contacts and then you'll see my contact is pre-filled here. You can also select send me an email when the contact clicks the link. It's kind of like a red receipt. And then there's also something called preview mode. So you can enable that should you want to. When you hover over it, you'll see that it tells you preview mode allows you to approve listings before they are emailed to clients. So if you do preview mode, nothing is going to get automatically sent from the system. You would have to approve the listings before they're sent out to your client. Um, you know your client best, so if you feel like that is the right course of action for you, I would definitely suggest utilizing that, but you don't have to. Then as we go down, you can select the schedule for the subscription. So you can do it on a weekly basis where it would send one email a day on the days that you've selected here. So if 20 new listings come on to the system tomorrow that fit your client's search, they would get one email that contains those 20 listings. You could do monthly, which would be one email on the first day of the month, or you can select what day of the month. And then there's also ASAP. So ASAP is what it sounds like. It would send the listings automatically to your client once they hit the MLS. So in that same scenario, if 20 listings come on the market tomorrow that fit your client's search criteria, they would get 20 separate emails. Um, so that is up to you. Again, you know your client best if you think they'd like to get 20 separate emails immediately, or if they're someone who doesn't like to have so many emails that may just want one email a day that rounds out the new listings. You can also manage the email content that goes out. You can manage your templates here if you have a template that you always want to use when you're sending out content. Um, you can also change the subject here, put a body of the email. I usually suggest keeping it very generic here because it will go out every time that they receive the, sus the subscription emails. Um, so something just like these are the latest listings, let me know if any of them um, are of interest to you, something like that. Um, or you could just leave it blank, totally up to you. And then after you've completed this, you're just going to hit save. And now you have saved your search and your subscription. So the only thing to do from here is to make a decision as far as the listings that are already in the system. So the subscription works kind of like a magazine subscription where you would get everything go forward. So there are listings, it looks like we have 17 results that fit my search criteria right now. Those would not get automatically emailed since they're already existing in the system. So then you can make a choice as far as what to do with these 17. So you can either email these now, choose specific ones to email, or you can do nothing. You don't have to send these at all if you don't want to. So I'm just going to show you if you chose to email these listings now. For the public, you would send the public version. And then you would put in just your recipient information, your contact. You can add an additional email address if you need to. You can select to have a copy sent to you. You can get that red receipt. You can again put in content for the email itself, for the body and the subject. And then as you go down, you'll see that your information is going to be pre-filled there by the system. And then you can either view the listings that we're going to send just before you send it to double check your work, or you can go ahead and email them. So I'm just going to email them and then you'll see that the information was emailed from my account. So again, that's how you do a search and subscription in Flex MLS. We also have a step-by-step -step instructional guide on that process in our MLS intranet. And it is under the subscription management and portal setup guides. The first option here, create email notifications of new listings. 
And this is just a step-by-step -step of what I just covered in the video, um, but it's also a really great tool to have it here in this little handy handout. Thank you so much. And if you need any help with any of these processes, feel free to contact us. Our phone number is 732-918-1340. And our email is support at monmouthoceanrealtours.com. Have a great day.